Hey everybody, today we are doing some fun facts on pharmacokinetic properties of medications for today's Reinhardt's Rundown, and we're focusing for this video on the elimination half-life of a drug. First things first, a definition. What exactly is an elimination half-life? A drug's half-life, or the T1 half, is the time it takes for the concentration of a drug in the plasma or in the bloodstream to reduce to half the original value. So let's look at an example with Ambien or Zolpidem. Zolpidem is a hypnotic used for sleep in patients suffering with insomnia. The half-life is about two and a half to three hours. So for our example, we'll use the three hours. If my patient takes a dose of Zolpidem 10 milligrams at 9 p.m. in the evening, three hours later at midnight, 50% of the dose has been eliminated, 50% remains in the blood. So five milligrams will remain in the bloodstream. Three more hours later, it's 3 a.m., dose is cut by another 50%, 2.5 milligrams in the blood. Three more hours, 1.25 milligrams remain in the bloodstream. Three hours later again, 0.625 milligrams in the bloodstream. Three hours later, it's now noon the next day. 97% of the drug is eliminated from the blood and only a very small amount remains in the bloodstream. Overall, it takes about five half-lives for 97% of the drug to be eliminated and seven half-lives for 99% of a drug to be eliminated from the blood. Now, depending on the drug, this doesn't 100% mean it's not detectable on a blood test or that it won't be picked up on a drug screen, but it does help us understand when the drug is therapeutically considered to be eliminated from the blood. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll look at how a medication's half-life helps us determine dosing frequency and go through a real life example with an ACE inhibitor, one of the most common medications we see for blood pressure and heart failure. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.